Over the past few months, I've been asking my Twitter followers who is the greatest Canadian through dozens and dozens of polls. And now we're ranking the top 250 Canadians in history, and right now we're on number 246, Con Smythe. Con Smythe was born in 1895, and like so many of his generation, he served in the First World War, earning the Military Cross for running into a German battery and rescuing several wounded Canadians and bringing them back to safety. He would later become an airborne observer in the Royal Flying Corps and was shot down in 1917 and made a POW until the end of the war. A gifted hockey player in his youth, he used the money from his sand and gravel business and his connections as a coach with the University of Toronto to build the roster of the New York Rangers, the newest team in the NHL. After building the team, he was then fired before the team's first game, and that team would win the Stanley Cup in its third year. Smythe then put in offer to buy the Toronto St. Pat's in for $200,000. Upon the sale, finishing in 1927, he renamed the team the Toronto Maple Leafs. He also changed their colours to blue and white, the same colours used by his sand and gravel trucks. In the midst of the Great Depression, Smythe decided to build an arena to accommodate his team. Work began on Maple Leaf Gardens on June 1, 1931, and the building was finished on November 12, 1931. Smythe would serve as the owner of the Maple Leafs from 1927 to 1961. In that time, the team won seven Stanley Cups. Smythe was also the owner of several championship horses. In fact, he used the winnings from one race to purchase King Clancy from the Ottawa Senators for $35,000, forever changing the future of the Maple Leafs. His horses won 145 stakes during his lifetime, including the Queen's Plate twice. In 1961, he supervised construction of the Hockey Hall of Fame building, of which he was inducted in 1958. In 1965, the Conn Smythe Trophy was created to honour the MVP of the playoffs, and from 1974 to 1993, the Smythe Division was also named for him. Conn Smythe would pass away on November 18, 1980. So that was Conn Smythe, number 246. Tune in next time to see who is number 245.